Do you want an easy way to appear as a more advanced swimmer without actually having the swimming skills to do so? Today I have 5 ideas for you of how you can do that, so let's get right into it. Number 1. Push off the wall underwater. I made a video on how to do it the right way and just by watching it, you're going to have the advantage because most beginner swimmers don't realize how much can be said about them based on how they push off the wall. If you observe the best swimmers or even just competitive swimmers at the pool, you can see all of them travel at least 5 meters of each wall. Why? Free distance, free rest, and it's hard to accelerate from swimming from scratch. Much easier to carry the speed that you generate from pushing off or after pushing off from a flip turn. Number two, swimming calmer, slower, and less splashing. Pro swimmers barely make any splash. You want to aim for the maximum distance per stroke, which means aiming to make your strokes more effective. You may be moving your arms fast, but you shorten your strokes and you don't go anywhere. So instead, you have to be in control over your body. So slow down, finish the stroke all the way by your hips and you're gonna move further and it's gonna look much better. If you're watching this, I'm assuming your goal is to improve your swimming skills and staying up to date on my videos might be helpful to you. Number three, wear your swimming cap correctly. If you choose to wear a cap, and it is definitely recommended, make sure that all your hairs are underneath it. We don't wanna see any pieces sticking out from underneath your cap. Now the seam should run through the middle of your head. Not all caps are going to have the seam, but the most popular basic ones will. An easy way to verify this is to check if you have a logo or a print, and that should be on the side of your head, either side, but not in front of your head. The material of your cap is your personal preference. You can use silicone latex or the fabric one. Most popular silicone i tried latex one it was not working for me so i'm gonna stick with silicone but if you do want to look like a more advanced swimmer i would stay away from fabric cap number four spend a couple laps of your practice on just kicking i don't see a lot of recreational people do it actually i see barely no recreational swimmers do it but in competitive swimming you will find at least 10 even 15% of the practice spent on just kicking. When you kick on your front, grab a kickboard, put your hands on the kickboard, try to kick with your head above the water. When you kick on your back, you're gonna try to put the kickboard to the side and kick in a streamline with your arms by your head. And last but not least, take breaks. Competitive swimmers, don't come into the pool, swim for 30 minutes and get out. Make it more diverse, mix up different strokes, take breaks, add just kicking, use equipment, make it more fun and engaging. If you have specific goals, your time will be much more beneficial if you have a pre-written practice. You can write them yourself, you can join the team, or you can use my set of 30 pre-written practices on three different levels that are linked down below in the description. And that brings us to the end of this video. Comment down below with any other tips that you could think of, and I'm going to see you next time.